vlogs. Today I am wearing my glasses because we're gonna be watching the Alice in Wonderland movie and all of that ruckus is Ty over here eating chips. We're watching a movie. Yeah, and we're reacting. Good. And you're gonna be crunching the whole time? <laughs> I thought we were just watching a movie. And we're reacting to the movie. It's a very special day. It's a very special vlog. So there have been a lot of adaptations of Alice in Wonderland over the many, many years since the book came out. My favorite is the Disney version from the 50s. I don't know if you've seen that one, but it's really, really good. The animated one? Yeah, like the classic Disney. I, I might have seen it a long time ago. I've also seen the Tim Burton one, which was okay. And I'm surprised to be even saying that because Tim Burton's like my favorite director ever, but it was just okay. I wasn't like super impressed by it. I like that Johnny Depp was in it and it was still good, but comment down below what your favorite adaptation has been. The one we're about to watch is from 1933. Because the dogs are going crazy, Ty's just gonna grab Thomas. Hey, they always do this when we turn on the vlog or when we're gonna watch a movie. It's like tradition for them. We just put in the movie, we have to use Ty's Xbox because we don't have like a regular DVD player because my goodness, it is the age of everything streaming. So we no longer watch DVDs like ever, so. Look at all them pixels. Now, this movie's actually black and white, so obviously they just colorized the screen here. And I'll show you guys the actual DVD. But I was surprised they had this on Amazon. And they only made this into a, a DVD version a few years ago, so it won't focus. Hello? <laughs> it's not focusing. There we go. So that's the front. This is the back. So they've colorized it. But as you can see here, there's all the, the black and white scenes with the creepy egg guy, the creepy Tweedledee and Tweedledum. That's the queen. So is Humpty Dumpty in this movie? Apparently, and he's like one of the creepiest characters. So this movie was known to be so creepy because of the way most of the costumes and characters were designed. And there were even some scenes where you can see the human head inside of one of the creatures. So let's say like the, the turtle guy who's all dressed up. It's like a turtle costume. You can see the person's head like in the mouth, which really freaks people out because it looks like these creatures have swallowed humans, even though it's just the actor inside the suit. I think the exact the same thing happened to like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie from really? the 90s. When they're laughing, you can just see the teeth. That's terrifying. You see the person's face like inside the mouth yeah. of the creature? Like, no thank or you. Or I think like when they lean back with their mouth open, you can sometimes see like eyes in there and all that stuff. It's gonna be creepy. We're gonna react to this for you guys. Because of copyright stuff, we can't show prolonged footage of the screen. So we'll show like quick snippets Snippets? Snippets? Snippets. You're the one who spoke English longer than I did, kiddo. Quick snippets. Snippets? What's the word? I think it's snippets. Snippets. Anyway, we'll show quick bits of the movie and uh, like screenshots and stuff, but I'm really scared. Kind of like a gloomy day. It's been raining the past couple days and we're gonna watch this creepy movie, so. Here we go, we need Ty to press play on his Xbox controller. My hands are full. And it's all the way over there. <laughs> You can do it. Have Tumnus do it. Tumnus, play the movie. Press A. Play the movie. Press A right there. Come on. More force, buddy. Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. It is starting. We have the opening credits with very um, interesting orchestra music. Like, this is really nostalgic for me. Yeah. Like, orchestra music, but with the recording technology they had back in the time, it's so fuzzy. <laughs> yeah. But it's great. All right. So, she's about to go through the mirror. Ty looks very confused. <laughs> A little bit. Just seeing like the effects and whatnot and how they yeah. do it. I love how Tumnus is just watching how weird this is. Okay, so we finally met the creepy guy in the rabbit costume. She's chasing him. So I'm confused. So like chasing him to the rabbit hole that gets her to Wonderland, but she also had to use a mirror. And she's kind of already in there. That's because... what I'm wondering. She's kind of already in Wonderland because it showed everything backwards. And the photos that were in the room originally were of the back of people. The back of people, which was kind of yeah. funny. Yeah. So it's actually really cool how they're doing this, but I'm confused because it's like a double, like you have to go through a mirror and then the rabbit hole to get into like the real one. Wonderland. Well, let's see how this goes. So she's following him through the hole. She found the hole and he's falling. <laughs> and now she's falling. Oh, okay. That's she's, a long she's way to fall. Surprisingly calm about it though. If I was in that situation, I'd just be screaming. <laughs> but thank goodness there's jam on the way, apparently. Okay, so we're approaching the strange uh, creatures, which now we know are actors dressed up in like large fuzzy costumes. Yeah. So what's creepy about this is that you know this is a full-size person. It's not like a little puppet or anything. 
it's like the way the Teletubbies are actually like seven feet tall. Yeah, see this makes me think of like that HR Puffin stuff show that we watched. Yeah. Because I remember mentioning that to get them to talk, because someone tells me they didn't have the tech to have it like be remote controlled. Yeah. So it's a guy in a suit doing this. Yeah, talking literally. As he's talking at the same time. And now I'm like scared to see if I can see a face. Because HR Puff and stuff, he had to like keep the mouth closed all the time unless they were talking. Yeah. So you could tell when they were running because the arms would flail everywhere because he <laughs> needed to keep the mouth closed. And then there's regular frogs. Is he a froggies? <laughs> Okay, so the caterpillar, I thought it was just like, you know, the top of his head there, but there's actually a human face in there as well. Look! Yeah, yeah there's a the human face, and, and then the caterpillar, face. what? Okay, so we see the queen, and she's terrifying. She's throwing a baby! Okay, guys, look at this! <laughs> And she was literally just throwing the little baby around. Okay, now we're at the part of one of my favorite characters in any Alice in Wonderland, which is the Cheshire Cat. This is clearly a puppet, right? I hope so. It's because if gotta there's stuff be. a guy in that, it might be a bit of a challenge. He's definitely creepy, but at least he's not like ginormous or anything. I like anything. how the tail moves. You can tell it's just like a stick. Yeah. <laughs> the Mad Hatter and March Hare that she meets at the tea party just looks normal, so we're not going to show you that. Um, it's literally just a guy with like a the, the top hat on and like a guy in like a rabbit costume, which is still weird, but it's not too bad. Okay, so these are some really strange characters. I have no idea who they would be because I've never seen them in like other Alice in Wonderland movies. It is the mix between a sea turtle and a cow. But apparently in one of these, you can see the guy's face. I don't know when, but we're gonna, we're gonna. I don't know if it's gonna suddenly show it. Can yeah, you, you can see it a little you bit. You can see his face inside? Yeah, you can see it. No. Ew. It's, oh, wait. Yeah. Wait, I think I see an eye. Ew. Okay, we have reached Tweedledee and Tweedledum, which I feel like in the movies, don't they come earlier? Like we're almost done the movie now. I always thought they were like kind of right after the Mad Hatter Steve party. I could have been wrong though. Yeah, I'm not really sure, but um, these guys are definitely a look. <laughs> they're definitely a look. So um, yeah, that's them. They're a little, they're a little creepy like the rest of the characters. I think it's their mouths. I like how it says D and dumb on them, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> Printed right on the collar. I think I need that for myself, just bean right there. A bean. I gotta say, I like how the tree's just looking at them in the background. Ew, it does have <laughs> eyes. What the heck? Ew. Okay, guys. We have apparently reached what people say is the creepiest part. This thing is what people had nightmares about. It's a uh, Humpty Dumpty in the Alice in Wonderland world, but his mouth and his eyes, he's like a humanoid egg, literally, I'll show you. It's just a dude's head. It's actually terrifying. Yeah, like, they just strap some arms and legs to a dude's head. The fact that it's so realistic, like you could see his eyes moving and everything, like it's terrifying. And this is for a kid's movie, like are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, I'd be a little scared. I'd be terrified I'd of be this a as a kid. Scared. Okay, so now we're at the part where she's having dinner with the queen and the food starts coming alive. I mean, it's a very Alice in Wonderland thing to do. But it's very strange seeing food have faces and just like dancing well, around and well, talking. Like that. I want to know, what is that supposed to be? Is it like a potato? I think it's a roast. Oh, that's the meat? Maybe. But like, that's the type of stuff that's it's happening got a right now. Hat. And its arms. Look at its little hands, too. <laughs> This has been your face the entire movie. It's supposed to be weird. Yeah. But I'm thinking, as we're watching this now, how was this received back in the 30s? Not well. But people were afraid. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> the dude looks like he has a melted face when he's pretending to be a roast. That's terrifying. And this is for kids. Yep. All right, guys. So. Movie complete. Like we said, I can definitely see why kids had nightmares about this. Like I was reading a bunch of articles online about people who are older now and like adults looking back on their childhood saying this movie definitely scarred them. And they still have the images of some of these characters like stuck in their head for all these years, which is pretty crazy, right? So um, interesting how they put this in DVD form because I don't know who's buying this aside from us because we're crazy and we wanted to like react and watch it. Collectors but, maybe, or people yeah, who collectors. just want to relive that childhood fear. The trauma. Yeah. <laughs> The sweet, sweet trauma. Anyways, it was definitely interesting to watch. I, I find old films to be intriguing, just a little bit scary, for I sure. I still remember watching, I think it was The Haunting on the, or 
the, the Haunting of the House on Top of the Hill or something like that. Yeah. Vincent Price movie. Yeah. And it starts off with like this big monologue by Vincent Price. It's decently well done, but the climax of that movie, don't you dare say spoilers, this thing has been out probably way longer than all of us have been alive. You had time. A skeleton just doing this. That's just being puppeted by somebody. And I don't mean like being puppeted by somebody on the movie production, by one of the characters. I like that little uh, finger movement there. Well, it's, it's what skeletons do, right? It's like creepy jazz hands. But it's always interesting seeing this stuff. Yeah, anyways, um, I think it's worth checking out if you wanna be spooked, for sure, for sure. And they did a good job for the time. They did. They did, they really did. Practical effects, everybody. Anyways, we're gonna get going now, but don't forget if you would like one of the new Easter mystery boxes, we've almost sold them out completely, so thank you for all of your support on that. But we'll link the last uh, few down below in the description, and don't forget, there are three golden tickets hidden among them with different prizes. Yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. See you guys.